Hello everyone, I am using an Azure Virtual Machine through my web browser. The Azure service that enables this functionality is called Azure Bastion. Basically, Azure Bastion is a jump box as a service. With this, you can have your virtual machines without a publicly exposed IP address, but still you can log into your virtual machines secured with your HTTPS connection. Now, the problem with Azure Bastion is that it is a little too expensive for dev and test environments. For example, even if you're using the basic tier, the cheapest one up until now, you'd have to pay like $140 per month. They have released a new SKU for Azure Bastion service called the Developer SKU. You can use this at no extra cost. So this is basically a free service for you to use. And today we're going to have a look at this service. So first, let me have a look at the existing Bastion, the basic and standard tiers. I have logged into this virtual machine using the standard tier. Now, if I go into the on the virtual machine let me go into that virtual machine that i have logged into this is the virtual machine and if i go into it's the vnet and it's subnets as you can see when i deployed the bastion service to use with this vnet there's a new subnet added by default called azure bastion subnet and there is a the resource Azure Bastion. And if I go into the configuration tab of this service, as you can see, it is in the basic tier. And we have the new developer tier as well, but I can't downgrade it. I can go up, but I can't go down. This is the behavior of the existing basic and standard tiers. Now let me show you how you can enable the free developer SKU. And let's have a quick look at it. I have created a virtual machine and a new resource group for showing this to you. This Azure Bastion developer SKU, it is not available in all the regions. It is only available in these regions and I have created my virtual machine in the West US region. If your virtual machines are in a supported region, when you go into the virtual machine and to the Bastion blade here, what you would notice is that we have the, the previous dedicated deployment option here and previously we didn't have this directly entering the username password and connecting option now this is the newly added developer sku and when you first log into the virtual machine using this feature here it will automatically provision an azure bastion service for you now let me log into the service as you can see it says it is creating a new azure bastion developer sku now let me show you how it's done i'm going to enter my username and password and I'm going to click this connect button. As you can see, it creates an Azure Bastion resource and it got created really fast. And as you can see, I have already logged into the service. I don't have to pay to use this service from now on. And if I go into the resource group of my virtual machine, we have the Bastion resource deployed in the developer pricing tier. And this is a really good service to use when you don't want to expose your public IP addresses to the internet now if i go into the virtual machine that i was just using as you can see i don't have a public ip address attached to it now this is what i wanted to show you in this video i will see you with another video like this soon and thanks for watching